Today I'm working on a set for a music video for the weekend. So we've got a lot of panels already pre-built, but something we don't have a lot of is doors. So we need two doors, one freestanding, which we've already got, cannibalizing one of the panels that are a little less of quality and chucking a door into it. So I'm gonna build struts across and down the side of the door and to build it out. And I'm gonna, unlike the other door that we have, which is two-sided, this one's just gonna be a single-sided door. So I'll hang it and it will be an interior of a room door rather than exterior of a room door. Apparently I'm downloading the um, Yes. Is that what Thursday? Yes. Is that what Thursday? Yesterday's Bush Man live stream to upload on Spotify to go out in two weeks time because there's one this week, one next week, and then we got that. So currently working on that. And that's yeah. just helping whoa. Well, and what else are you doing? Would you believe it? <laughs> we are editing yet another performance video. That's our life at the moment. Performance season. It, indeed it is, yes. And it's not even the fringe. No, it's end of term three, so schools and community organisations tend to have their performances. Can't play any of it, it's copyrighted music. But look, we can mute it. No, that's solely. I'll go really fast and they can't decipher it. I'm looking through and adjusting things for revisions. Sweet, so Jesse's painting the white psych. Good job, Jesse. Thank you. So what we're setting up is a roughly four meter by four meter room. So for a music video that's shooting here on the weekend, they're gonna be doing some cool stuff. They got a 180 rig they were mentioning, which is cool. So we're gonna set up a four by four room here. They wanna be able to access the psych, so we're gonna make sure we give enough clearance for that. And then they're also gonna black out the other end of the studio. So they're gonna essentially have three sets in here, which is really cool. All we need is music now. Rolling on the river. So the new door design, it's got a slimmer profile, but on camera you're never gonna notice it. And the good thing is like, if you need the thickness, you leave it like this so then it sticks out a bit. So you're never gonna see that side. Though, I was trying to think about how to make it double-sided if I say if you want to go into one room or not. The good thing about these trims is they've got a line marked in. So I reckon if you cut along that before you install them, and then by the time you put the plywood and the skirting on the outside, Bob's your uncle. The other thing that I saw that would be really cool is if you got a piece of sheet metal that ran right across there, that was like ultra thin, like something like that thin, you could essentially create a stand the only problem would be is that you'd have a little bit of a bump in the carpet, but that being said, I'm not sure how noticeable it would be anyway. What goes? Look at this. It's beautiful. It works perfectly. I think this is where we're going to be designing all our doors from now. 